Hi there. I'd like to just show you a couple of books, two books, and talk to you about a website that I found really helpful. So this is the first one that I recommend. Um, how to keep your Volkswagen alive. The mechanic who worked on this vehicle uh, most recently showed me his well-worn out book of, uh, of how to keep your Volkswagen alive. So it just goes to show that um, a mechanic who's working on these cars, Volkswagen air-cooled engines, all the time will make good use out of this book but also someone like me I'm interested in working on um, this motor don't worry dad I'm not gonna touch the motor I promise but at some point I'd like to get my hands on an old Volkswagen that I can just work on the mechanics and learn about it I'll use this book to do it but in the meantime it's really good there's all kinds of awesome tips like for example one thing I didn't know is that when I start the car I never need to let it run for about a minute to three minutes before I get going. So you'll get the poof of air coming out, you'll get the put put and the chug chug all out of it. It's like you're waking it up. And then once it's all awake, then you take off and it's gonna run nicely for you. So I did notice a difference even on my way here. Um, I was in a hurry, I wanted to hurry up and get here and it was stalling on me and it's cause I didn't give it that time to just kind of wake up. But it tells me that in this book. It even has a chapter on, so it's got all the chapters on uh, how to fix the motor, but it even has a chapter about uh, buying your own Volkswagen and what to look for when you're buying it. It's like if you have an old hippie man in your living room and he's telling you everything about the Volkswagen, anything you need to know. It's as if you hear him right there. That's how he's writing the book. So it's actually interesting to read. So. He suggests that you read it cover to cover and you just go through the technical spot parts, just kind of go through them. You, you can skip it, but then um, you'll know where they are when you're looking for it at some point. So I highly recommend this book. I'm actually getting a lot of use out of it. I refer to it all the time and I've never finished the whole thing yet, but I do fi plan on finishing it. Even the illustrations alone are awesome in this book. I need to show you the illustrations. Check it out. That's all illustrated. He's got, like, he'll even take um, the car, cut it in half, and then you can see what's where. The illustrations are just amazing. So he's got some very technical illustrations, but then he's got some really fun ones too. Hang on. See? Like that. Like, look at that. That's amazing. So it's, it's just a really fun book. The guy um, who wrote this, it's John Murray, Muir, I'm not sure how to say his last name, M-U-I-R, and um, he, uh, he'll tell you at one point when he's telling you um, about buying the vehicle, he'll say, just feel, just sit in the car and feel it, close your eyes and feel the car, you know, like, how fun is that, right? So, but he's very factual. You're getting a lot of factual information, but he's also really fun and he's kind of all over the place. So I really like this book. Another book that I recommend is this one. Now this one is good if you like history, you want to know all the details, the dates, the names, the places. It's really good for that. It's going to take me forever to get through because that's not the kind of thing that I usually really hang on to so much. I have a harder time going through the book. So I'm not very far, but something that I did get out of it, I'm getting things out of it. It's just, it's so packed of information. So if that's your kind of book, this would be good for you. Now this one is just for the bug, how, but this one is good for any air-cooled engine. So if you have the bus, you have the camper van, or you have the old Volks, um, that's the book that you could use. Um, this one is just for the bug, but something cool out of this is um, the guy who uh, came up with the whole idea of this beetle, he wasn't German, but Hitler made him go get a German citizenship so that his car would be officially built by Germans for Germans in a German factory. I thought that was kind of, you know, kind of just interesting information to get. So it, that's the kind of information you get out of this book. And apart from that, I do have um, two websites 
that I would like to suggest to you. I'll put them up here somewhere on my video. There's a, a Canadian one and an American one. I think they both sell the same, same things. It just depends where you want to have your stuff shipped to. And you can get all the parts that you need for your Vokes. So if you need anything at all, it's where the mechanic that recently worked on the car, it's where he's been getting his um, parts. And it's where we got some parts for this as well. For example, the, um, the cup holder right here. Can you see it right there? I've got my sunglasses in there right now. That um, was ordered on that website. So if you like my suggestions, please like the video. And if you have other book suggestions or other websites that you'd like to go to to get parts or funky things for your votes, um, put them in the comments below. Let's share this information. I'm not making any money off of this. I'm just sharing with you. Let's do this sharing back and forth. It'd be fun.